back so soon. I knew you would not fall here are tainted. We should be pretty... I probably can stick with what I had already. I'll probably stop letting him customize the decks anymore. And Queen instead stick Blade. with where we Terror had before. So you do not, not use recommended. Because now I will do this stuff manually. There we go. So we're one over capacity. Sure. The Dead King's Hall. That just seems handy. I don't know when Metal Ore will show up again, but maybe it'll show up as a payment option again, so maybe I should just keep it around. Just I don't think I want Lizard Dome here. There we go. Slightly customized. Will I stick with the Shadow Agent? Maybe, maybe not. I might just go back to the regular old deck and just have that be that. What's this work again? I just want to... Every single defeated enemy increases your health. So not even... It, let's see. Is, there a spe is, it, is it detailed specifically? So you start out with a chunk of health. You start off with 40... You start off with a ch uh, chunk of food, a chunk of gold, 40 health, normal set of equipment. I don't, I don't remember how much his health increases with each enemy, necessarily. But, our number of enemies is certainly going up, so being able to increase my health well past, uh, 100 could be interesting. I'll give it a shot... again. If we fail, I just get to unlock more encounters along the way, I guess. I made the mistake of trying that deck, er, that, that character early on, when, uh, every single god... Th there was only a handful of enemies in the entire level, because the first ones were so short. But they're clearly getting longer. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. That's a pretty long conversation to have some to be as something that he repeats all, all the time. Like uh Darkest Dungeon had a lot of one-liners that he would just kind of throw around and that was normal, but uh they usually weren't that long. <laughs> and he says that, like, uh, every single time I play a mission now, uh, somewhere in there. Was the shuffling animation shorter than normal? I wonder if it only does the full animation with the whole song when you're uh, doing a level for the first time. This is the second one I've repeated so far, because I had to replay the last mission after dying too. Healer's Ring! Whenever the player receives healing, they get plus one gold. That's, that's what we get from our... Second, from defeating the second row of bosses, we got something that lets us draw an item like that. Hopefully, I gain hit points at a rate that's decent. Alright. So, I can ask for longer life, supplies, gold, and to be blessed. The blessing was not there originally, but now it is. And it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, although hit points would be nice, I think I might fight enough enemies to make it, to make it last. We don't need food or gold particularly, and let's try a blessing. Be, uh, by whatever strength my people yet hold, may you be protected on your journey. Wrath of the Old Gods. At the beginning of every battle, the Old Gods throw down thunder on one of your enemies. Yay. It is said the sharp-eyed adventures protect us. That's just the same thing that we've said before. It's read, it says that all the time. There's our shop. Immediately. When I have nothing to, to do with it, necessarily. Alright. I, I am low on gold, but why not? There we go. So as expected, I can't afford crap, but it did it did lag as I switched through them. <laughs> uh, Fortitude's Breath. Value 30, every third encounter does not consume food. That's not bad. Press B button, shield bash. Berserker Armor, during combat every hit you sustain increases your speed and weapon strength. Spirit Walk, during combat, right, yes, the avoid all damage thing. Armor of Cold, it's got the slow thing, and some light defense. My shield? Nope, it only sells for two. If it sold for a little more, I could probably buy the better shield. Health gain from eating is increased as your health gets lower. So it's a buffer against starvation, because you might start starving, but then you get some food, and then it sort of helps you out. I think I want that. I think I want to keep what I have, and would rather not sell things at the moment. And the healer's ring and stuff isn't valuable enough. Yep, I'm not going to go with it. 
Bye. Just gotta deal with the fact that they gave me the merchant immediately. Hi. That one, wow. <laughs> hey look, it's the exact card that just killed me last time. I'm facing it at the beginning of the run now. What could go wrong? We play for a token now. Let's do it. I have nothing to. Oh God. Pleasure yep. To see the queen return. The king and queen. Ah. Well, we just started the run. I have nothing to lose. I'm just gonna go for it. Refuse, because I want to unlock the freaking next mission. And if I fail the, if I fail on my third card, that won't be that big of a deal. But yeah, I have 40 hit points. It's bad. And no, uh, no equipment. The White Castle doesn't like goons like you defying us. Or something like that. I didn't actually read it, but it's whatever I said last time. So we have the King and Queen, the Jack's gone. So it's, it is randomized there, too. Which dust bosses reappear. Oh, it's the same level all over again. And I've got no equipment. Alright, well. Come at me, brass. Oh, get out. Oh. Oh. Got caught a little bit. Get out of there. Yep. Just. Oh, got a little bit, bit of it. Oh, get out of that. Oh, that's a trap. Where's the king hiding? There he is. Stop that. Is it. Is it ow. Everything hurts. Holy crap, this encounter is absurd. Get out, get out, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! A lot of projectiles coming my way. You're alive! But I got you. Oh no. Get out! Get out! Oh my goodness. This is a tense fight. Oh, projectiles. Oh, so much danger. No! That was bad. Oh, another projectile. There's so many. Dodge. Ooh. Get out. It's so hard to see those tiny, tiny diamonds on the screen that indicate I'm being attacked. Get out. Get out! Oh. Whew. That fight is immeasurably more difficult than literally anything I've seen in the game before. My <laughs> takes yours. It's horrifyingly more difficult. Try again. I just need to kill that damn king. has become even more difficult from here. Okay, can I skip your dialogue so I can move on to quick, quick restart? Because I'm. Nothing, <laughs> nothing happened. There we go. Let's just start again. Can I skip this part? I can't skip this part, can I? Nope. Alright. Just feels like a lot of, uh, theatrics and bluster when my round only lasted a few minutes. All games are about power. Fortitude's a breath. The Third encounter does not consume food. Power. Got this immediately. Of power. Okay, you're talking and a lot. Importantly, Hey, Goblin King Halls 3. I, I like I like his dialogue, but I don't like it when he says the same things over and over and over again for like 30 seconds straight, because he has long dialogue that repeats, which I feel like is a misstep. Oi, lad, the enigmatic goblin, Mr. Lionel, climbs out of a barrel behind his tavern as he passes through a small village. I've made some refinements to the magic device, and I think we'll do better this time if we take another shot at those treasure vaults. You see, goblins sometimes hide their best treasure, magic items and such like, in enchanted treasure chests. The magic amulet will now reveal these to you, if there should chance to be one in any treasure vault we happen to visit. What do you say, lad? Shall we have another uh, shot at that goblin king's treasure? Sure. Good lad. Let's go right now. I think I've located one in the desert not far from here. Under the blazing sun of a nameless desert, you and the goblin find a door partially buried beneath the shifting sands. 
You can keep whatever gold you recover, but remember to look around for treasure chests. They're sure to hold something worthwhile, which apparently he's going to want to take from me. So I get to keep the gold this time. Could be a good source of gold early on in the playthrough. What's over here? A little money? Is there a trap? Yeah, that's a trap. Alright, just get my... Yep! Dodging animation straight. Ah! Oh god, they're next to each other. I didn't realize that behind one trap was another trap. Okay. I am very low on health already. That's bad. What, what is... Oh! Well, this is a bad start for me. Okay. I really wish I could see at all. Shit. Feels like a bit of a faux pas to not let me see where I'm going in this kind of situation. I can't rotate the camera at all, which is weird. There's more stuff over there, and a ladder that leads me back out. But is the money worth it? Or do I just break my way through here instead? Treasure chest! Do I... D did I win? Is that it? Is the treasure chest over? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Whenever I control my character, it's just a combat game, so I don't know how to interact with this thing specifically. I assume that's it. Like, woo, it's open! You did it! And then I walk away? Because I can't... I can't touch it, as far as I can tell. And the game's never taught me how to interact with things, because I've never had a thing to interact with. What I'm doing right now is actually at odds with the entire structure of the game until now. Because it's never... It's always just a, here's an arena combat, it's over. Uh... This seems dangerous. Okay. Oh, that's the exit. I thought that was just a way to climb over the wall. Okay. Good work. I guess I got it. Okay. Mr. Lionel exclaims, seeing the loot you return with. You see, I told you there was more to be gained from these vaults. You, you, you divide up the treasure between the two of you. Three game cards. Yay. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Berserker armor. Huge hammer. 35 damage. Consecutive attacks do greatly increase damage. I would like that, yes. Undead Bane. Does fire damage on hits against undead. But this is a rat dungeon, and it does less damage overall, so the huge hammer seems like a clear winner. Especially with the, if it, do, it does more damage per hit. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Draw one. Ring of survival. After every third combat, the player receives 20 hit points. Cool. Three gold. <laughs> Rather pitiful compared to the others, but sure. A few more raids like this, and I'll be living like a king myself. Mr. Lionel grins happily as he stuffs his new treasures in the pair of old slacks. Old sacks. <laughs> a pair of old slacks. I mean, maybe he's wearing slacks. Uh, pro presumably he's wearing slacks. The heads, uh, then heads back into the desert. Cards token's now yours. Progress. That white council's gonna be a problem, but some of these other things are pretty easy. The lovers. Who wants more rings? We're gonna demand payment. Wow. Had to go for it. Ring of poverty. You can sell that for money. I mean, for health. Which wouldn't hurt for this character in particular. Uh, this one belonged to my mother. Healer's ring. Don't I already have that one? I think I do. Oh wait, that was last. Was that last? That was last time. Okay, I have it again. I guess I can't have a duplicate of it because there's only one copy in the entire deck, I think. Hours later, we turn to find the young... Yeah, this is the same thing we've always done. Shit. <laughs> a choice. That one. Select oh, God. <laughs> I thought I followed it a little bit. That was dead wrong. <laughs> oh, two monster cards. You don't get far before stumbling into a group of armed guards. It's my father's men, the young lady exclaims. I think I did this the first time I did this uh, card, too. Well, draw two monster cards. Hope I don't die. Five... Uh, five bandits isn't too bad, but I only have 14 hit points, so let's try to make it count. Doing some fights is good for my overall increased health. If I can avoid dying, that is. Sweeping attack. Roll! Oh. Really, the roll doesn't get past projectiles. I guess I'll just have to kill you first. Ow. 
dick. God damn it. My deflections are not working at all for some reason. Well, that works. Boop! Damn it, damn it! Maybe I shouldn't play this character. <laughs> So I got mixed up there where I hit Y and then X and yeah. Powers, yet you haven't used them. And now you're dead. Yep. Death in the deep and dark places. I screwed up pretty bad there. But hey, progress on a quest. So that's not bad. So what happened there is I tried to hit Y but I I just got mixed up basically. One person was trying to I was tr had a counter icon so but I had already started hitting them but reflexively started hitting Y. But then I realized it was too late anyway, so then I just started hitting the hit attack button again. But then while I was hitting the attack button the second time, the second person started the counter animation, and I'm like, ah! Things here are tainted. I got looped. I got in a loop of things going poorly there. Okay. I'll give it one more try. Because I will say that in both cases, I didn't necessarily completely die. In both cases, I got some rough luck with the deck, basically. Which is that, uh... One is I genuinely just died in a combat scenario, but the first combat scenario was really, really rough compared to most of the other stuff. And the second time I died, I died in a co combat scenario, but it was after I lost the majority of my health to... a very early amount of health. I think... I, I, an amount of damage that was, uh... What was it? Like, the spike fell on the ceiling? Fell from the ceiling, I think, and took almost all my health immediately? And that was... A rather specific situation. Where's the other Goblin King card? Oh, it was automatically removed. It doesn't exist anymore, apparently. Or it must have been automatically removed because I didn't take it out. Okay. Let's try it again. I've had some rough beginnings. I kind of, I kind of want to stick with one of these decks just because I kind of want to actually follow through with a class storyline because each class has a storyline. And, uh, I don't really, what it is don't really know where they're gonna go. Every third combat, you get 20 health. The rules, cool. Pushing you into the play before you were prepared. Holy Forge. Again, a token is at On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels. But the infidels were strong, and one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed uh, uh, most of our tools and took our supplies, including all the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. I can just leave? The King's army never returned that day. I know not what have became them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me in company. All the others who survived that attack left long ago. Leave. You bid the monk farewell and leave him standing in the silent empty ruin. Okay. Um, I guess I must have needed a metal ore to give him, because they talked about stolen metal, or something, I don't know. The token went away, and I had no decisions to make. I must have needed to have something with me when I got here. Greenboro Forest. More and more portals opening across the land. Hell beasts are appearing with greater frequency. These portals seem to be appear more often in Greenboro Forest. Search the forest for clues? Yes. So I think I failed this last time. There we go. During your search, you discover some bags lost or left behind by traders and travelers. The dealer draws two game cards. Wow. Thank you. Your investigation also uncovers what may be a treasure or powerful artifact, but it is concealed behind thick, strangling vines. I can chop or leave. Let's chop. Swinging your weapon down and attacking the vines with gusto. Your weapon isn't strong enough to break the vines. Oh. Shit. And now it's gone, so I can't come back to it either if I wanted to. So I guess, I guess, uh, you just need a certain damage v value on your weapon, which is kind of rough, because I guess we're going to have seen, we're going to have more and more luck of the draw situations here, where earlier, earlier playthroughs were rather, were rather straightforward, but now there's more and more cases of just like, did this happen in a way that was uh, lucky for you? No? Alright, see you next time. <laughs> Holy Forge. A brotherhood of peace in the service of I think war. this is just the same dialogue Never as last time. Yeah. I think he needs I think he wants ore, but I don't have anything because I just started. 
Test of Pride. Hey, my my class quest. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Despite having rested in safety, you're suddenly awoken and surrounded by Pride Council, the eldest of your kin, who lead all of you towards reclaiming this land from the beasts. We sent you into the wild to see if you could grow into a strong member of our pride. Now, you will be judged. With every kill you've made, you grow stronger. But are you strong enough? No, I've made three steps into the level. The Pride Council sent in judgment of you. Woe be upon you, you are not yet fit for our pride. This deck is really screwing me today. We're three for three now. All three cards I have uncovered are like, no, nah, you didn't accomplish yet this, this much this run. I'm like, I, these are the first three cards. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet in my playthrough. Uh, when we meet next meet, it would benefit you to have hunted more of the prey that infests this land. After the judging, the leaders address you. The strength of the pride is the lion, and the strength of the lion is the pride. The council disappear as suddenly as they appeared. Well, there goes a theory I had. So I guess I've just been lucky so far in this game. I had a running theory, I don't know if I voiced it or not, where I thought that, uh, no, I think I did voice this a little bit at one point, where I thought that the tech, the deck was balanced in a certain way, where each, I thought the cards themselves were random, but I thought they were, I thought they were weighted in a way where, like, certain decks, I thought certain cards would only be in the first half of the deck and certain cards would only be in the second half of the deck, for example, like many real card games work, to make it so that stuff that relies on you having done stuff already before you reach them would only show up in later in the game as opposed to immediately. But now, this is like me making up for lost time on being super unlucky, apparently, because the game is drowning me in things that you would never want to see at the beginning of a playthrough. Uh, so, there's that, I guess. <laughs> there goes that theory. Although it's possible that it's 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 maybe that waiting happens in the first half of the game and not the second half of the game, like the first six bosses, but not the second six boxes, bosses. But that'd be a weird thing to remove suddenly, because just because you get more experience at the game doesn't mean that make, making scenarios pop up at the beginning of a, of a of a playthrough that you literally can't do make any more sense, because your skill can't overcome what just happened there. All those all three of those things were things I couldn't do. The lich. There are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life. But at what price? He's a straight-up boss fight. Just like all the other boss fights, except he's uh, a random encounter thing instead of the end of uh, of the main story progression. Okay, um... This is not great luck, either. <laughs> the end of an entire quest chain being drawn as my first encounter where I do anything in a round. But I guess I'll do it, because, uh... What do I have to lose? Nothing's happened yet. If anything, I've squandered the first floor on useless counter encounter cards, so if I died and started over, it, I'd almost be better off. The Lich is an undead able to hurl deadly balls of magical fire. She can also consume other enemies in order to restore her health. Liches are common in legend as the greatest of the undead. I'm sorry, Liches are known in legend as the greatest of the undead. Only the most powerful or most foolhardy of wizards can attempt to summon one, and the only only the most like, unlikely uh, actually succeed. Well, Let's take a token on their foolishness. In the ruins of an old temple, you feel the presence of something evil and unnatural. You have discovered the lich, a powerful undead monster. Murder! You bear, you bravely approach the evil undead with zero equipment and forty hit points. I would never do this with my D and D characters, that's for sure, because they would uh. They don't have the best chance of survival in that situation. And I like... I'm a little more attached to them over large periods of time. That's creepy. Oh, it's dark in here. Okay. Let's get out of this hallway before I get fireballed. Just in case. Maybe I can sneak behind here. Whoop. Yeah, if, I'm, if I stay behind here, I might have luck. My weapon feels like garbage right now. Where it's just like awkwardly. Oop. My wa my weapon's just like de just depressingly bouncing off of people's weapons. I mean shields. Counter. There we go. Oh, he got he got me once. But the enemies are healing me, so there's that. That's a nice notification that you've killed something, is getting those hit points. Alright. Ah, I see what you do. Well, you're alone now, so- Ow! Shit. How 
What about that? Huh? You like that? Come on. Die? No, not yet. Still working on that. <laughs> the music's kicking up. Murder, 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 murder. Hello, neighbor. Feeling all right? I can keep doing this. I can ping pong you straight to hell. Hey, neighbor. Okay, so she's really easy, it turns out. Surprisingly. Although the, the, the alarming thing is I may have just, uh... I may have just made her a, a permanent monster in my deck, though, for all I know. She may have joined the enemy's cards, so maybe the Lich will now be a thing that shows up, like the King of Dust and stuff like that. Alright, you search the remains for loot. Token's now yours, you get two gain cards. Huge hammer! Wait, that's the Rat Cleaver, though. So this does 35 damage, but the Rat Cleaver does double damage against rats, which is the boss of the area. So let's just, gra let's just grab that now before I miss the opportunity. 15% max health. Oh. Extra health. But it is only a momentary respite. Max health is good, but that's a the percentage isn't very effective yet. <laughs> what? I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Will be upon you. Yeah, as I expected. But I didn't. I didn't think the car could be re. Oh, yeah. I guess it didn't darken. I thought it was deactivated. But like all the other cards, could, but it's just a card that is darker in color because it's blue. But it's not as dark as the other cards. Okay, so it's still active, but I'm leaving the floor, so too bad. Alright, the Lich has been taken out. And see what you will find. Think about the way we play. The lovers are back. You continue to die, yet uh, demand payment. Each time. Give me your cards. One has to wonder how it is possible. Healer's to ring. Truly lose. And Ring of Poverty seems to follow a trend there. Are those the only rings in my entire deck? They might be. I'm starting to think that might be the case. I don't really remember how it was put together, but it, the good news here is, is at least the failure straight can't murder me. Shit, really? <laughs> how did I do that twice? How did I do that twice? Okay. Okay. That's just improbable, frankly. That's fine. I have significantly more hit points this time, and I heal with every kill. And I have a better weapon this time. That was a weird slow-mo segment. Murder! Deflect, there we go. I've gotten jumpy about deflections ever since uh, I had earlier attempts where... There. Yeah, like, I would, I would deflect early like that, but then he would just stop doing it, and then I'd get hit by the projectile I tried to deflect, and I'm like, why did I even try deflecting it? But I seem to be getting more luck now with deflections than I had at that time. That was close. It's, it's actually kind of nice having the bonus health every time you kill someone because it makes this it plays a sound every time you kill somebody which kind of helps make it clear that you have actually scored a kill cuz enemies get up a lot in this game it is not always easy to tell things uh just fall over and then get back up i'm like is it dead i can't tell so we got our we went and got our cards our rings demon trader ah an encounter with the devils of the night a health pain Perhaps. great not your last. You spend a restless night with your dreams haunted by visions of a strange demon who sniffs and says, They say you visit the altar, yet you have no mark of the gods upon you. Be gone. In the morning, you feel drained. The dealer draws you one health pain card. This game just con it's starting to continually punish me for actions of previous uh, campaigns I've run, but it's freaking out that I don't have anything on me when I'm like, I haven't had time to do things yet. That's the fourth time this level. How unpleasant. At least it's not. At least it's not max, max health. I have. I'm up to 70 already, which bodes pretty good for me getting above 100 complete and making this class worthwhile. Hopefully. 
It's a priest. I think I have a... Do I have a redundant weapon to sell? I don't remember if it got, to, if it got thrown away or not. Sword. Goodbye. Uh, Ring of Poverty. Plus one max health for every five lost. This is this would be worth two. I should probably save it. Yeah, I'd get what like 17 hit points or something, which is not enough yet. But if I save up enough, that could be real nice to help boost up this character's hit points. Remove curses. Don't really have anything to do here except for the part where if I lose a curse, I lose an item. But I don't have any curses yet, so I don't have to worry about that anyway. And I can buy blessings! And I can actually afford this one. Undead, with that physically strike, the player may receive damage from... May? I, I, want that. I want a guarantee. The player inflicts triple damage against foes that are stunned. Ooh. Any hit on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. Triple damage against stunned foes. That's just when you shield bash them. That's really neat. I want that. Let's grab that. Goodbye, all nice Goodbye, all of my money. Do I have enough for one food or not? That's three, isn't it? It's four. Okay, that's fine. I, we, we have a bit more food for now. That's a-okay. Let's get out of here. That'll be a fun effect. Bash people in the face, then smack them to do triple damage. Ah, I see. Time to gamble. Good luck, me. Ah, uh, chances seem low. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, once it's a double shuffle, I completely lose it. I try, but nope. I completely lose track of the, the direction the cards were going in. Hey! It's our first success. You play well. Your opponent frowns. This uh, then reaches beneath the table for your prize. An equipment card. Oh. Oh. I mean, I'm happy to have this, too, I guess. But I was kind of hoping that the equipment that he'd give me a blessing instead of an equipment card. So this I should probably put this on. Uh, it does it's it's a better weapon than the rat cleaver, except when I'm fighting rats. And I'll probably end up messing up and fighting a rat with this too, but uh, I'll hopefully switch the rat cleaver before the boss fight happens at the end, where it'll be most necessary. Old graveyard. Are you afraid of the grave? What irony. In an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirits sense the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. You spend a peaceful night awakening and well rested and fully recovered from your wounds. The card's token is now yours. So I'm continuing to be affected. I'm, uh, I'm continuing to have outcomes of scenarios decided by things I did before I got to the card itself. So by having a blessing, I beat this encounter, apparently. I guess a spirit would have attacked me or something. Or cursed me or something. But now I continue with the story. For free. Do not let your supplies run so short. You are on risky ground. Let's take the forward path through the forest. All the world is a game board. And us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices. And I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. I wonder if uh, this will be a staircase that shows me the entire floor. Nope, it's a healer that I basically can't afford. I can buy a little food from him, probably. I probably should. There we go. Just gonna buy some food from you. One food. That's... it's not great. But it's better than, uh, starving. And we're on our way to that. I guess I... Oh, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? I could've potentially sold my... No, I kinda want... I want my hammer for now, though. But yeah, I could've sold one weapon to get more food, probably. Maybe I'll get lucky? Oh, one of you again, huh? Can't maybe just get like a nice, even distribution of encounters? Hey, buddy. We'll see how this goes. 
Oh, it's right here. He only shoveled once. Lucky. Very lucky. Draw one equipment card. Scorching zeal. Fire was never meant to be so controlled and so channeled. Fire and holy is nice, but this thing just flat out does more damage and benefits from combos, which are you sure that's the right are not approach? currently debuffed for me, so I think I'll stick with them. I would feed you if I could. Oh not no. Rules in your favor any more than in my own. Oh no. All right, we'll see how this goes. Another this Goblin King. Will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Great news, Mr. Lionel declares excitedly, bursting from the back of a wagon as it passes you along a well-trodden path through a sunny meadow. One of the Goblin King's sons has decided to challenge the old fool for his position as ruler of, the, ruler of our people. Under Goblin law, he can legally take his father's place if he can beat him in single combat. But the king, crafty slug he is, has, ridden, has hidden the crown in the treasure vaults. Without the crown, the leadership cannot be resolved. There must be chaos in the capital. Alright, what's up with the capital? Huh? Oh, Goblin Town is hidden away in an enormous cavern under one of the human cities. You wouldn't believe which one, even though I told you. It's full of thieves, you know. No point of visiting unless you have business with the king or his family. Anyway. The point is that the crown is one of the tre is in one of the treasure vaults. If we can find it, then I can use it to blackmail the king into letting me back into the city. How about it, friend? Sure, let's do it. What could go wrong besides me losing everything again? Yay! That's the spirit, Lionel says gleefully. Rubbing his hands together, the crown is going to get me back my rightful place. You lead the way this time. Hours later, you stand staring through the doorway into another vault. Good luck, my friend, Lionel says, giving you a reassuring pat on the arm. Find the treasure chest. The crown must be in there. All right, let's just be very careful. Hopefully I've done these enough to not screw up anymore. You pause for a moment, wondering uh, if that was a voice you heard echoing uh, between the traps. Lionel gives you a helpful kick in the rear, sending you through the doorway. All right. Admittedly, I'd be better off if I had full control over the camera, but let's see if I can get through this without dying. Oh god! What? Oh shit! He's throwing spells at me! Oh, screw you! That was... that wasn't nice. Okay, fuck the gold. Oh, I got hit again. Shit. What? You got hurt by touching the wood? Why would that hurt you? That's stupid. What? What happened to the... There, I thought there was a delay for that. Shit. Okay, well this is going very poorly. Apparently lightly tapping the wood kills you? There's the chest, at least. Oh god. Let's just try to get in there. Uh, what's the fire thing? I can't tell. Oh, it's a... Uh, those, that's like a periodic geyser that turns on and off. No, I got stuck on the fucking pillar. Okay. Yeah, this is not a partic- Jesus. T t why would touching the wooden post hurt you? There's no spikes on it. The spikes are on the, the arm that sticks out. Let's just get out of this thing. <sighs> okay, yeah, that happened. Yeah, the Goblin King levels aren't particularly... They don't seem particularly well made. They're completely divorced from the core gameplay, and... There's really weird hitboxes happening in some of that stuff. And the camera's not controllable, and it's not... It's not a great time. Wow, yeah, I tried to roll past the spike pit and got stuck on the geometry of the wall, and that held me in the middle of the spike pit and got me hurt more. Damn it. Okay, that's... We're alive. That's, there, that's that, at least. Outside, you meet up with Mr. Lionel again. Did you get it? He asks excitedly. Quickly, you must have it. You hold out the goblin crown, an ugly wooden thing embedded with large gems for his inspection. The crown, my ticket home at last. Just as he reaches out to take the crown, a trio of goblins appear in the treasure vaults, one of them saying, I'm telling you, there was a human down here. The goblins stop, uh, goblins stop dead and, and stare at you. Look, one of them screams. He's taking the king's crown. You turn back to discover that Mr. Lionel's nowhere to be seen. Stop, thief. One of the goblin uh, guards yells. Take your time if you like. Shut up. You're being I've rude. Long enough. As another goblin uh, blows on his horn, and a magic portal appears. More goblins begin to arrive, all yelling and pointing in your direction. Well, shit. It sounds like 
It sounds like the uh, Lionel probably tricked me into stealing the crown from the king and not stealing it from some vault to give to the king. But maybe not. Get him, yells one. Seize him, yells another. You're, you're the king's favorite. You seize him. You decide to leave before the increasing number of goblin guards bolsters their courage enough to compel them into action. Oh, token's now ours. No follow-up fight. Which is good, because I'm in pain. I, I have no food. I have no food and my health is low. Yeah, I did this to myself. It would take three t uh, movements to get back to the healer uh, to buy food or heal at this point. And I believe I take 10 damage per turn with this character. Can I inspect that from here? Upgrades. I don't know if I can inspect that from this screen. It's probably, I think it's, I think it's 10, per, 10 per turn, yeah. Well, let's help I get food. Devil's Carnival, again. You eat like crazy here, that, sh that should count as food. You if you win. I'm pretty sure you eat here and drink here, so that, that should count as food, right? One day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large uh, country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you, and you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but now faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders and amazements, seeming almost dazed. There's something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while, you forget your quest. Forget even the path that brought you to this place. Welp. Here we go. Ta-da! I didn't know if that was the right one, but I knew that it, I knew one of the other ones wasn't. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, you drift along the various stalls, stopping at whatever catches your eye. Mysteries of Carnival awaits you. Oh, Jesus. Choose from these it's options. not the one in the middle right, at least. But I don't know where to do it. Oh, okay. As you walk down the alley, you suddenly realize the crowds have vanished. A small group of men approach you, clearly with bad intentions. Monster card. Two of dust. If I can get through this cleanly, I'll get some hit points back, which would be nice. I need to stop losing hit points, or this is going to keep getting worse for me. Counter time. Triple damage. Bash. Triple damage. Bash. Triple damage. Yay. There we go. Nice, clean, quick, easy encounter to get some bonus hit points from. The funny thing is the idea that if I fight enough enemies, I could stave off. I could. I could uh, stave off starving. <laughs> Immediately after the last man falls, the townsfolk begin to drift into the alleyway again, oblivious to the carnage. Somehow, the bodies are dragged back into the shadows, and within moments, as though nothing unusual happened. Some time later, you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest. The sounds of the crowds behind you. The day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago, ab ab ago abandoned. Meet the Highbinder. Your meet is arranged to happen by the cliffs outside Nullwich, however. When you arrive, you are greeted only by the icy cold embrace of the sea breeze. Just as you're uh, wondering if you've been swindled, a young street urchin comes rushing towards you. He hands you a note before disappearing down the cliff face with a speed and grace you would not dare match. The note is from the Highbinder. Paranoia is always well-founded. There is a kraken attacking the ships that are leaving Nullwich, and the local smugglers are keen that nobody hears their services are at risk. I am sorry that we couldn't meet in person, but I do detest violence, especially when it may happen to me. By the time you stuff the note into your pocket, you can already hear the approaching rabble. We don't like nobody sticking their nose where it don't belong. That includes you and that sneaky git that were here before. Two monster cards. It's the Dragon Dust again. He gets around. It's starting to get weird how he gets around. Are we supposed to think that they're all the same person? Or that it's just a bunch of people that are of similar characteristic of combat? Because the latter seems like it would make more sense. Otherwise, we're encountering one person at weird frequencies. I only have 10 hit points. Oh, God. Someone have food, please? Food. Food. 
Ow! I was in the middle of deflecting the other attack. God damn it. Unless you can find more food, of course. God damn it. I'm in trouble. That sucked. I was I was countering the uh, projectile and the jack did an unblockable attack in that moment. Oh! Damn it! So I specifically tried to attack towards the top direction. I thought that the movement of the attack would take me out of the line of the, of the so projectile. That's not what happened. Another of my servants fulfills his duties. Well, we're making progress. Today. Through the encounters, at least. You to feed the lich. You get five food, the mask of extortion. I think that's the end of that entire quest line, then. Occult reflection, disciples ring, druids. No, it's not. That's a new encounter right there, isn't it? Okay. Uh, for bringing blessed peace to old, the old graveyard, you receive 25 health, spiritual healing. For helping Mr. Lionel with this quest, you receive Goblin King Crown, Maze of Traps, Goblins. Locked into my deck now, because they're going to be going after me after what happened. But hey, the crown is an item I can use now, so there's that, I guess. Sure. I ah, look at them all go. 